Hi guys, Seamus here. Bit of an update on our 172 scale Hobby Boss door railgun. The biggest majority of it's all complete. Um, all our decals went on late last night. Just a few other ones goes on these other bogies here at this side. I'll show you in a second. So we got all them decals all on the side here and on the opposite side. Um, got our silver done on our main cannon itself. Those other wee parts here. We're actually made to fit in like so. Once it goes on till it gets cradled, then we can pivot it up and down and so forth. And then our end caps goes on over the top, so I haven't painted them just yet. Our shells here have to be cleaned up, and then I painted the army green. We did all our kit for it, our munitions carrier, that'll not be until next week, which is this one here. So there's those shells we can tra transport it. Um, Kits that have already finished for it is a re tank. You can see at the bottom of the picture there, which is this one here. Fantastic wee kit to build. Went together 100%. Can't fault it in any way. Same for this one. This built one was a bit more fidgety. Being an ICM kit. But we did add our lighting to that one. I'll show it in a second. This one here, uh, as I say, went together extremely well. And to give it a bit of weathering. We didn't add any lights this one. I don't know if we're going to add them to it or not, to be honest. Um, the wee troop carrier sort of thing, late vehicle. We did the weathering and we added our lights to it as well, as you can see. Back in front here. There's a wee uh, cannon to go with it, Hauser, whatever you want to call this. This is from another kit. So we'll just hook that up to it once this goes on to its diorama base sort of thing. Um, we did add the rim screen to this one. There was no clear plastic in the kit. It all just had the lighting to it. And to give that a bit of weathering. The fuel truck needs its lighting done to it. Uh, we added a screen to that. And then there was no clear plastic in it. So that got its weathering done as well. On this side. Uh, the other cargo truck sort of thing. Have to still add the ammunition boxes and other bits and bobs, or I might just put a tarp over it. Same as done with a 24 scale truck last week. We added the lights to this one, we have to add the rim screen to it as well. Um, a re bike, we built, built this a couple of years back. It says for the, it was for the door gun, so it's still got onto it. Um, we put on a wee plinth just I painted it and added a bit of lights to it as well back in front so that'll come off its plinth once I have everything else finished um, our sol figures, soldiers our Imperial here so there is Urfrix and Iran figures I think they're called so there's about 40 of them all together um, don't look too bad now there's some flashing around it, some of them but as I say the scuttle blade will take those all off, so it will. Um, first ones here are cleaned up. Got them in the primer. And our dollies for the shell to sit on. See they're done dark green. And I think there's a yellow stripe or a white stripe goes around it. So to get these all ready for uh, primer, clean the seam ends up on. But overall guys, um, it's been a long drawn out process this build. I started this in... About 2020, I think it was. Yeah, first and 18th, 2020. Did I show this? I can't remember. Um, trains that was used to pull the D311, the puller door. So it was four of these. Uh, they're running about 30 quid on eBay, but I have the prints for the 3D printing, so I'm going to have a go at printing them sometime during the week. That'll be early next week, so there's four to be done. Um, the BR-52 train won't be used on this dial at all. It'll be used on another dial. Again, I think this is the trumpeter, this one. There's the tender for it. Again, just the details that we kit. So that'll be using another dial at some stage. But overall, guys, um, say the 
big gong, there's a bit of a pain getting all lined up and so forth, but we'll get there in the end. There's a large weight that's in the back of here, came with the kit. This will stop the gong from pivoting up and down all over the place. So there you go guys, just a quick update on our door rail gun. So let's get there slowly but surely. So, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all later. Bye.